Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video we are going to finally be doing a fragrance collection type video. I'm going to just briefly show you all of my fragrances that I have back there and then I'm going to tell you what my top favorite fragrances are, the ones that I actually reach for a lot. Um, a lot of you guys have asked me to do a fragrance collection video so this is just, you know, me pleasing you. Um, for a long time I just felt like it wasn't like I don't know, authentic of me in a way to like do a fragrance collection video. And the reason I'm saying that is that majority of the fragrances back there, first of all, a hundred percent of those fragrances I like and any fragrance I've gotten in the past that I don't like, I just kind of re-gift to someone who has a different taste than me in fragrances and I know that they will enjoy them more. But a lot of those fragrances I didn't buy with my own money and so it just didn't feel genuine to do a fragrance collection video when I really didn't buy a lot of those, you know? I worked at Sephora for four and a half years and I worked at Nordstrom for like a year and a half and at those retailers um, you get gratis. And specifically I got a lot of Chanel fragrance gratis. I do love Chanel fragrances and you will see all of my favorites back there but you know I just I don't know I didn't spend my money on my fragrances I do like them but it just kind of was a bit of a weird controversy in my brain whether or not to do this video um so just so you know I haven't purchased many of those a lot of those have been gifted. But I guess that saying this and the disclaimer makes me feel better about filming this video. So let's just go ahead and go for it. <laughs> if you guys are excited for it, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. Before you leave, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm here with my phone because I don't know how else to record this, but this is just sort of how I store them in the background of my video. Um, I just, I didn't have anything else to put back here, so I figured fragrances would be something nice to look at. I like the shape of fragrance bottles, so that is why I decided to put them back here. I believe this one here is Stella McCartney, Eau de Toilette. Here is Tory Burch, Just Like Heaven, which smells really nice and fresh and like just a fresh, crisp spring day. I have a little Jo Malone Peony and Blush suede. This Valentina fragrance right here, this one was a gift from my aunt. A few little tiny mini bottles that I have just because I thought they were so freaking cute. This Christian Dior one came with some makeup that I order and it smells very strongly of vanilla. Not my favorite actually. Elizabeth Arden white tea. This is a really pretty light floral one. This black opium here is not necessarily a favorite. This is one of those that I usually re-gift, but I haven't found anyone to re-gift this one to yet. Not that this was gifted to me. It was just given to me at work, you know? But this one's a little bit on the spicy side for me, so this will probably be gifted to somebody else. Okay, and then the rest of them are the ones that I always, always reach for, so we will talk about those in a little bit more detail. Okay, so I have 15 fragrances total here in front of me. I'm not going to mention them in any specific order and six of them are Chanel. Three of them Chanel Chances. Now I've had the opportunity of having every single scent of Chanel Chance that exists and these right here are the three that I kept because these are the only ones that I truly, truly like. Two of them are the Chanel Chance Eau Tundra, but they are different. So, so this one here is Chanel Chance Eau Tundra, and this is the Eau de Parfum version of it. Eau de Parfum versus Eau de Toilette means perfume has more concentration of oil in the formula. So the Eau de Parfum fragrances usually last longer than the Eau de Toilette fragrances. Also keep in mind that like I said these were given to me at work. These specifically at Sephora I believe so this one used to have one of those theft tags in the back there and it never came off and I didn't care enough. Anyways so I feel like seeing all these fragrances in front of me made me realize that I need to use them much more often than I do. Okay so this right here is a 3.4 ounce of the Chanel Chance Eau Tundra. The notes on this one are grapefruit quince, jasmine, and white musk for an intoxicatingly light floral trail. This one to me if I could describe it to you it smells like a very nice sweet 
floral scent. I guess the sweetness smells a little bit fruity, so yeah. Um, I really love the smell of jasmine and I believe all of the chances have jasmine in it. Really beautiful scent. The auto perfume version of it has slightly different scents that make it feel a little bit less girly, more like a woman per se. Um, and I'm looking at the notes right here, it has jasmine and then it also has rose essence. So maybe this one has a little bit more rose in it, which maybe is what makes it feel a little bit more like a woman. By the way, another reason I didn't wanna make this video is because I have no idea how to describe scents. But the point is, this one to me, if I describe this one as a fruity, sweet, fresh floral, this one is a little bit more mature, a little bit more intoxicating of a scent. Um, if you ever go to a store and you smell them both, you will definitely be able to tell the difference, but I can't exactly pinpoint like what it is. I guess this one having more rose in it makes it a little bit more mature. Plus, I do think that this one smells stronger too. This one's just very soft. And then we have the Eau Fresh, which I do think I do like this one personally more than the Eau Tendre. Um, it's a little bit more fresh, less sweet. This one has more citrusy in my opinion. The notes on this one are citron, jasmine, and teakwood. So it's more woody, more citrusy, and then it does have the jasmine in the middle as well. This is a beautiful scent and my favorite um, Chance Chanel for sure. I wish they made a uh, Eau Perfume version of this one. And then I have two different versions of number five. Number five is another one of those Chanel perfumes that I've had maybe five different versions of. I remember gifting the Coco Noir, I believe, and also the regular Chanel number five, because I'm not a huge fan of those. They smell very strong to me. Um, but these right here are kind of like fresher versions of Chanel number five, and I do really love both of these. Let's talk about the number five Eau Premier first. And I believe this is the one I'm wearing today. The number fives have a lot more ingredients in them. So this one says it's got notes of ylang ylang, may rose and jasmine. And then it also has vanilla and musky notes, which create an incredibly feminine trail. This one I would describe as a floral musky scent, a sweet floral musky scent. And musky scents are some of my favorites, which is probably why I like this number five. I don't find it too loud. It doesn't have any spicy flower in it. That is something else that I don't like. I don't like for my fragrances to have any kind of spice in it because I feel like spicy notes don't smell good on my body. And so this one here is like a really beautiful, sweet floral musk, and it's my favorite number five. Then we have the number five low, I think is how you say that. I believe this is the last one that came out, and this is like a fresh take on the Chanel number no. five scent. So I feel like as a base, this one has the notes of the original number no. five, but it's like very at the end of the scent, if that makes sense, because the first notes that you smell in this one are actually pretty fresh and citrusy. Um, let's look at the ingredients here. It says it's a modern, fresh, and vibrant embodiment of the now and forever scent. Chanel number no. five. It says it features dynamic crisp top notes of lemon, mandarin, and orange. And then it's got the emblematic heart of the rose jasmine and Yilang Yilang, which I believe those are regular Chanel number no. five notes, more modern than ever. And then it's got base notes of cedar and soft cottony musk notes as well. So um, woody, musky, a few flowers in there, and then a really nice top layer of citrus. So this one is very, very fresh, a little bit of floral, um, and just a really lovely fragrance. I think they did Chanel Number no. 5 justice when they made this one um, as its like new, fresher version. I really like this one. Let's move on to Dior, and I have a couple of Dior fragrances. This right here is my favorite, Jador. Jador is another one of those fragrances that became so popular that they made a ton of different varieties of the same thing. This is my favorite Jador, and this is the Jador Eau de Toilette. While this one might not be as long-lasting as the Eau de Perfume version of it, it is a little bit lighter and softer, and I tend to prefer that better. 
when fragrances have strong florals in it, I do prefer them to be fresher rather than the opposite. <laughs> this is hard, okay? I can do makeup. I Fragrance is a challenge. So I'm on the Dior website now and it says this one has blood orange essence that awakens the senses, which makes it fruity and juicy and mouth-watering. It has neroli notes in it, and neroli is one of my favorite scents, so I get why I like this one now. Neroli is this beautiful, crisp, fresh smelling flower, and it is the hard note in this one. And then it also has the Mascus Rose Essence, which is sensual and creamy. I really love this one. Like I said, I like fresh, crisp, flowery fragrance rather than spicy florals. Um, I guess that would be the opposite. <laughs> then I have Joy from Dior and I absolutely love this one. This one, I just, first of all, love the name. It makes me happy, Joy. Um, second of all, I feel like it deserves the name because it's like a really nice, playful perfume, if that could be a thing. Um, they already did another version of this one, the Joy Intense. Do not like that, it's too strong, but this one is lovely. Let's see, what are the notes? <laughs> okay, so this one is described as a warm floral and it's got bergamot, grass, rose, and sandalwood in it. It's really nice and crisp and I really enjoy wearing this one during the summertime for some reason. Then I have this replica here from Maison Marjala and this is called Lazy Sunday Morning. I love the concept of replica fragrances because they try to replicate moments. So they have one called Supermarket Flowers that smells just like that. I absolutely love that one. There is Under the Lemon Tree as well. <gasps> I love citrusy scents. That one is to die for. All scents that like I feel like I would buy those, but I have so many that I don't, but then these were gifted to me. Ugh, anyways, that's why this video was complicated for me. Um, so this has the key notes of Lily of the Valley, Iris, and White Musk. I have to admit, White Musk is one of my favorite things to smell in a fragrance. This one just smells like chill. If you could smell chill in a fragrance, this would be it right here. It's like cozy but like very soft at the same time very lovely i have a travel size spray from erin and this is called amber musk and i love this thing i hate that it's a rollerball and not a spray if this was a spray it would be completely empty i feel like i don't use it as much as i should because it is in a rollerball so the notes on this one are coconut water rose centifolia ambrox benzoine musk and it says it is warm, inviting, and cozy, and I feel like those are my favorite types of scents. I smell so many perfumes now that I can't really smell anything, <laughs> but this is like a warm, cozy type of a scent. It has musk in it. I absolutely love this one. Highly recommend that you smell it if you haven't already. I feel like Erin fragrances are underrated, and they are amazing. Let's move on to Jo Malone and I have two Jo Malone fragrances. This right here was last year's holiday limited edition Jo Malone and it is so freaking good. I haven't used it much because it is a limited edition scent and I don't know if they're ever going to sell it again. And so this one is only for special occasions. I'm going to look up the notes in a second to read them to you, but it's called Midnight Musk and I believe it has three different types of musk in it if I remember correctly. Oh, I love musky scents. Okay, so it says that this fragrance opens with a sparkling citrus and hints of juniper and it almost immediately begins to soften with the amber coming through in a creamy silky way. The middle notes are mostly amber with a soft hint of citrus that is like creamy cashmere on skin. It's called Midnight Musk. I thought it had musk in it. I don't know if I can trust this website. Anyways, it is a lovely scent and unfortunately it's been discontinued so we won't talk about it much. It's okay. My next Jo Malone was gifted to me by the Jo Malone counter manager at Nordstrom that I used to work with, Miss Nikki. Love her. Nikki would always describe this as a warm hug in a bottle and I couldn't agree more. I absolutely love this thing. It says, mists of honey-eyed golden mimosa float above the spiciness of freshly crushed cardamom, 
creamy tonka and smooth sandalwood woven under powdery heliotrope and damask rose picked at dawn. Warm, ethereal, mesmerizing. I love this. It's very warm and cozy but like sweet all at the same time. It is really lovely. My absolute favorite Jo Malone scent from what they carry in their regular line. By the way, I didn't tell you, but out of everything that I brought to the table to talk about, the only fragrance that I actually bought and paid for with my own money was the Midnight Musk and Amber scent by um, Jo Malone because it was limited edition with limited quantities and I really wanted to have it, so even though Usually my excuse to not buy fragrance is that I already have enough at home. That one was, you know, I had to have it. It was limited edition. Then we have YSL Libre right here and I recently finished a bottle just like this one. I absolutely love this smell. It says it's got lavender, orange blossom and vanilla extract as the main notes in this one. I absolutely love this one. It's like a really nice floral, sweet, sexy scent. If you try it, I absolutely recommend that you try it on your skin rather than a paper or the bottle because it smells so much better once it goes on the skin. And only one more to go. And then this chunky lovely thing right here. I feel like this one has been my obsession throughout the past year. If I had to pick my 2021 fragrance favorites, it would be these two right here. This is the Mont Blanc Signature and I believe this is exclusive to Nordstrom here in the US. It smells so freaking sweet and cozy. I absolutely love it. And I just looked up the notes. It says the top notes are clementine and orchids, middle notes, vanilla and magnolia, and the base, white musk and amber. As you can see, I have a type. White musk, amber, vanilla, jasmine, all of those are things that attract me. I like my warm, cozy scents, my sweet scents, with a little bit of flour in there, but like not overpowering flour and absolutely nothing spicy. That is how I would kind of describe my um, fragrance preferences. I really hope this video was somewhat useful to you because I'm very insecure about sharing my fragrance collection. By the way, this one I was so close to buying, um, but then I didn't have to. <laughs> so I was leaving Nordstrom. This fragrance had just come out. I had been putting it on at work like every day. I would get to work and spray it on and be like, <sighs> at peace with myself. And Hilal, who works at the Nordstrom that I used to work at in the fragrance department, um, would see me every day being, you know, drooling all over this fragrance. And he, um, and the team, of course, gifted it to me as a goodbye present when I left my job at Nordstrom, which was so freaking sweet because I was totally going to buy this one before I left so that I could get my employee discount and I didn't have to. So that was super lovely of them and I really love, really, really love this one. It smells a little powdery too. Oh, just delicious. Anyways. Like I was saying, I really hope that this was somewhat helpful to you guys. While I haven't spent my own money on a lot of these fragrances myself, I wouldn't have them in my collection if they weren't fragrances that I truly loved. Like the ones back there, I like them but I don't love them and anything that smells too strong, too floral or too spicy, I've always gifted those away to people who have just a different fragrance preference than I do. So these right here are my favorites, but I've also stopped myself from buying fragrance for a long time because I don't need any more. But I do love a lot of other fragrances that I have smelled um, during my time in retail. Anyways, if this video was any help, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe before you leave. Usually we talk about makeup on this channel, but we are doing 31 videos in the month of December, so I am switching it up every once in a while. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here, and I hope to see you back in tomorrow's video. Bye.